Okay. All right. Well, that was quick. We're live. Okay. I look like a hot mess. It is hot. It's all get out outside. It's just... Ugh. Okay. But tonight we're making a salad. Um, that does have some chicken in it. So I got my little stovetop electric skillet right here. Not stovetop. Countertop. In this bowl, and I didn't show y'all, I got a half a cup of olive oil and a half a cup of vegetable oil. Now we're going to add a half a teaspoon to our oils. We're going to add a half a teaspoon of dry mustard. Excuse, excuse me, Bobby. What are you doing in here? We're going to add one teaspoon of coarse black pepper and one teaspoon of salt. Then you're gonna take two cloves of garlic. Now, I'm just using this big hunk right here I got. It's a big one. So we're just gonna make that smaller so it'll fit in my, what's this thing called, Caroline? Garlic press. That's right, it'll fit in my garlic press. And we're gonna press that right into, look at that, did I get you? Sorry about that. Where's my little sharp knife? You see my little silver knife? Is it over there under the cookies? Huh? Yeah, you dropped that fork. We gotta have to hustle because that thing's getting hot. And I don't mean us, you know, it's getting too hot for me to work with. I'm saying it's getting too hot for me to stand by. So yesterday we had our air conditioner on, see if that big chunk will fit in there, it will. Our air conditioner on 73, popped it down to 73, and it ran and ran and ran and ran, and it did not get below 77 all day in this house. It was hot. So today, I turned out, oops, turned out all the lights, closed all the blinds, I did anything and anything I could to make it cooler in here. Get that big chunk out. And it helped a little bit. I wouldn't say a whole lot. It was still hot. All right. We're gonna call that two cloves of garlic because it's a big one. All right, so I got my garlic, my salt, my pepper, my dry mustard, I think that's it. And we're going to take, I have a little whisk. I just had it. I don't really know what I do with it. We'll get another one. This whisk? Yeah. Good job, and we'll whisk all this together. And now we've got our dressing. Oh, wait, I forgot one major ingredient. You need the juice of four lemons. Michael says if you roll them on the counter, it makes them juicier. I don't know if that's true. Makes them feel better, so we'll do it. Even though I have no idea what he's doing. I think he's inspecting walking around the yard inspecting to see what needs to be done because right now my only help outside is the teenage boy and we all know how teenage boys like to do things same as teenage girls huh Caroline all right that's one lemon So I already made um, this dressing once before we went live because you're using it for multiple things. Now, you're also going to need one half a pound, or I doubled my recipe, so I did a pound of vermicelli. Kind of looks like spaghetti noodles. Um, get those cooked according to the package, and then you drain them. And then you're going to take half of this dressing mixture and put 
into the noodles. And then you're gonna stick them in the refrigerator to let them chill. Now, we are also having a piece of cooked chicken on the side um, that is not part of the salad. Well, you could put it in the salad if you want to, but we're gonna have our chicken on the side. All right. Lord, that salad dressing would have been gross without the lemon juice. Okay. Now, go tell Daddy I'm live so I won't come in here screaming at Ethan. All right, now I got some chicken breasts over here that we are going to cook. right there. And I have my good kitchen shears. I'm just going to cut off any pieces I don't like or like pieces of bone they might have missed. And Caroline, will you get me a bowl from down there, please? Actually, you don't have to. I can use those colander. Now, normally I like to use chicken thighs, but you could use whatever you want. This is actually chicken breast. chicken thighs retain their flavor better. I, I hardly ever use breasts anymore. But if you prefer white meat, go with the chicken breast. Or if you're looking for a leaner cut of meat, again, go with the chicken breast. I told them to get two chicken breasts and they got me two packs. All right, so now we're gonna take just a little bit of this dressing and we're gonna pop it in here. And we're gonna turn that down a little bit. Oh, it's fine! Hey, you can have a thing on the side that does what's good to me. Yeah, I had it too high. Don't do that, don't burn it. But I'm still going to go with it because I don't have time and it's too hot. Alright. Smells like cat and Felicia. Does it? That's how I like that. Okay, and you can season your uh, chicken however you want. I'm going to use a little bit of uh, chicken shawarma. Seasoning, but use whatever you want. I'm also going to throw in a little bit of tony. So now I love my tony. It's the Tony Sacheries Cajun Creole seasoning. Hey, what are like 96 degrees on the car for today? It was 93. How do you know that? Because I checked. On that little uh, gauge? Yeah. yeah. Those are two. Oh. Yeah, that was only six. Okay, so let me get um, a couple questions about cookbooks being mailed out. Uh, are we in for that? No. Not doing this live, but it's all the page. I am getting a lot of complaints about, uh, you know, on the replays, like, just shit at the book, which they don't realize that when I film this, I'm live, and my live people like me to chat and talk, but I do recognize that sometimes because of that, the lives can go a little long. I also have some more winners to announce. Listen, tomorrow at 10 a.m. or 10 to 45, I'll put the time up on the page. I'm going to be crafting in a Christmas in July event. Alright, let's put the lid on. Oh, I don't need the lid. 
Um, and at that event, I will be announcing a few more winners for the bowl. Now, we won't do another pot set until we get 120,000. So every 10,000 we do something bigger, and then every thousand we do the bowl. Okay. All right, now, let's get our salad cut up while our chicken is cooking. And actually, I'm just going to use the same bowl. We're going to take a head of broccoli. Oh, I said, what is your craft in this? Well, you'll have to... You'll have to see tomorrow. What do you think I said, baby? Where's my pass going to be? When? Oh, tomorrow. Tomorrow morning at, I think it's 10 to 10.45. Pretty sure. But, check the check back on the page a little later just to double check that. Okay, so we've got a head of broccoli here. We're just cutting it up. A little flour. Now, if you want to, you can blanch this first. I kind of like mine a little crisp, but I like raw broccoli, so we're going to leave ours raw. Yeah, I like crunch to it. If I cook broccoli, like in the oven, I like it almost burnt. And if I blanch it, I like it soft, like mushy. The guys don't like that. What, what mushy? Broccoli. Yeah, I like it. So I'm just kind of making the flowerettes kind of small, cutting down at the base so they break into little pieces. Kathy wants to know what skillet would you recommend that's non-stick? The co- Okay, I'll show you in just a second. The karoti. But the problem with that one is you cannot put it in the oven. And you get it online at Walmart, it's not super expensive. Um, I think they're regularly like $200. And they're on sale for... Don't hold me to it. I think it's like $65 or $69 or... It's not bad, whatever it is. I'm going to want to know if you prefer cracking or cooking. Hmm. I don't know. On days like today, when it's hot as I'll get out, probably crafting. Them hot glue guns and getting your fingers burned with glue and getting glitter in your hair. I don't get glitter in my hair. Mm. But I usually am covered in paint. So there's that. Well, everybody's asking how I'm feeling. And I think it's funny. Some people say how big that feeling. Some people say how Michael like doing. Hmm. He's doing good. He um he is seems to be struggling a little more with his we say dizziness for lack of a Better description, but he described it pretty cool the other day to the doctor. It's like a seasickness. But not a sickness, just like when you lose your balance on a boat. So you don't get sick to your stomach. Yeah, I don't get sick to my stomach. I feel like I want to throw up. It's just like, you know, when you're walking on a boat and you think Ooh. you're doing fine, and the next thing you're like on your butt, that's how I feel. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to go with the green pepper. I really need to cut the board. Somebody asked what page will you be crafting on? I'll be crafting on my own page. But you can follow along with all the other crafters, and I'll put that link up when I'm crafting tomorrow. There's a group you can go to that, um... Somebody said, like, vertigo, but I don't know what that is. Uh, I know, I thought that was, like, when everything closed in. And... No, vertigo's dizziness. Yeah, but he, um, he got checked for that. Like, the crystals in his ear seem fine, they said, so... Not exactly that. And I've never really had vertigo, so I don't know exactly what that feels like. I've gotten dizzy at times, but I can Sometimes imagine. I get dizzy, but it's, it's not always. But he does lose his balance a lot. And it seems to me to be getting worse. I think, I think that and my memory is getting worse. You know, I've lost my phone twice today. Which I know y'all like, well, that's not unusual, but it is unusual for him. 
Now, me, that's a whole different story. I probably lose my phone 10 times a day. And used to rely on him to tell me where it was. Can't do that no more. Had to get an Apple Watch. So, and if you don't have one and you're notoriously losing your phone, I would ask Santa for one because that will, will be a lifesaver for you. And the good thing is you can also use your phone to find your watch. And Kayla said she's had three neck surgeries. You can have them now. Well, was the neck surgery as bad as the mouth? I, I can't, I, I can't uh, compare the two because the other one had trauma to it, you know? There I go. I can tell you that one was worse for me as far as taking care of you. This one hasn't been as terrible for me. And you don't seem to be in pain. Well, I mean, at times you are, but you seem to be doing better. Like, you feel better. Pain lies in your neck. Yes, but he is actually on a bit. Okay, so he's had this problem before the gabapentin. And he's actually taken a lyric now, but essentially the same stuff. Um, and he is on such a low dose. Did you take 100 milligrams twice a day? So Everybody else I know takes like 300 milligrams a couple times a day, two or three times a day, something like that. So, I, I just don't, I ain't buying this medicine. They tried to tell us it was a sleep apnea. He got the machine. Seems to be worse. I ain't buying it. Alright, so in this dressing on here, I've got some broccoli, some bell pepper, and that's it so far. Now, we're about to add something that my family is probably going to complain about, but don't get over it. You put mushrooms in it? Yeah, but I'm kind of big, so you can pick them out, big nanny. All right, now, you can slice your mushrooms. I'm putting uh, baby bellas. Um, if they weren't big ninnies about mushrooms, then I would slice these very small. But because they need to be able to pick them out, I'm going to slice them kind of big. Somebody said, you just cut. I'm not going to need to turn your neck. Me? Yeah, I'm going to do it. Oh, yeah. These are pretty thick. I mean, I wanted to beat them down a little bit, but I didn't. Right. You might want to know what kind of skill you're cooking in. That's just an oster. It came from Walmart. It's not a fancy brand, but it's, it has, I like it. It's been a good one. Chrissy said they put that sleep apnea on everyone. Her hubby started doing it, so she moved into the guest room. I don't know why. That thing ain't loud. Yeah, no, our machine is super quiet. I, he actually doesn't snore with it. All I have to listen to now is Jimmy. But um, it's not really, it's not really helping him sleep any better or longer. Or anything like that. It helps me sleep better. I don't, I don't have to listen to the dragon next to me. But. People I think who genuinely need that machine. Really, really feel a lot better when they start using it. Oh yeah, the guy told me. He had, he had a lady that told him. You know, he, he, just, he can never take that machine away. Okay, so our chicken breast is still not on. But essentially, everything else is. Whoops. I'm going to my egg. Here it is. Now I'm going to take out my vermicelli. That I have already cooked and put the dressing on. And 
And this, it says Karoti, C-A-R-O-T-E. You can get them at Walmart.com. This is the pot that I was telling you guys about. I don't want to use the ones I use. Here they are. A lady says, are you going to let us know? Will you give us email about the answer changes you sent? Uh, but I can't yes, um, yeah. I, I did see I got some in. I haven't responded to them yet because I wasn't sure exactly how I wanted to handle that. I was thinking about responding as it got shipped out, but I guess y'all want to make sure I got them. So. I think I can, what I can do is respond and then save y'all in the address change folder. All right, so this is our vermicelli. It looks like spaghetti. And it's been sitting in the refrigerator. I don't know, about 15. However long we've been alive. How long we've been alive, Michael? Uh, 21 minutes. All right, so it's been sitting in the refrigerator for about 20 more, 21 minutes marinating in this. Now. Somebody said your skillet is burning on the side. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm going to start that on camera. I think it's okay. The, the seasoning stuff is getting burned on the side. I see that, but... And we don't say it's burnt when we stand. We say it's blackened. Yeah, it's blackened. Yeah, it's blackened. Alright, so... Typically, you would let this chill and eat it. Um, I'm weird. I like it warm. I like most salads warm. Um, <coughs> chicken salad, potato salad. I like it when it's first made and it's still kind of warm. So, <coughs> if you prefer it cold, you can stick it back in the refrigerator. You can take your chicken, cut it up, and put it in your salad. I'm just, we're just going to have it on the side. But this is it. This is dinner. Super easy. Super cool little treat. And what are you calling it? I don't know. Lemon garlic. Pasta salad. I don't know. I'll come up with a name. What do y'all think? I should call it. Okay, let's go back to that dressing for a minute. Because that dressing, you can do anything with it. You could add cilantro in there. You could add basil. You could make it really your own. And if you don't use it all, <coughs> it's the seasoning making me cold. If you don't use it all, you can put it in a jar, like a mason jar, stick it in the refrigerator. Now, because it has the oils in it, it will kind of coagulate. But you just shake it up before you use it. And then, so it's good for weeks like that. Okay. We're going to get off of here because you really don't need to see the chicken cooking. I mean, it's cooked all the way. Just know that we're going to have a chicken. Season your chicken however you like. You can dice it up, put it in your salad, or eat on the side. Are we doing a dessert tonight? Well, I got two of them to do tonight. Two? Two, Kelly? Oh, two. our season is getting in the nose. Yeah, one of them is real quick. We'll do it after dinner. One of them, um, it's going to take two. <coughs> It's going to take two parts because you have to refrigerate it for six hours. So, I'm going to let this finish cooking and we're going to eat dinner, but that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys make it and give it a try. It's really good. Also, you could put whatever vegetables you want in there. In fact, I wanted to put a cucumber. Michael, we got one in the basket over there. Carolyn, you got a cucumber in that basket? Mm. Pick a pretty one. There's no cucumber? Huh. I, I knew I had them because I grew them. You grew them? I grew them. Let's go ahead and put some cucumber in there. You can put some cherry tomatoes in there if you want, which I got a whole basket of those outside. You can put whatever you want in your salad. You do have to We're going to add this cucumber to it. Yeah, I'm peeling it over my sink because I have the garbage disposal. Boom. 
make. You could definitely take this and make it your own. You know what else would be good in it is pieces of cauliflower, chopped zucchini. You know what my mother-in-law told me today? Of course, she eats like a little rabbit. But I was telling her that I picked some okra off my plants. And she goes, oh, I love okra. I said, me too. She goes, I love it best raw. She just puts it like right off the plant. I'm like, I never heard of that. You ever heard of that, Michael? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Point is, you could definitely make this salad your own. And do comments, I don't know if that's Richard or Rich on. Uh -huh. I've been an admirer of your comments. I was hoping we could be friends. If that's okay with you. Would if you Thomas mind? is from Louisiana, his name is Richard. Would you mind adding me up? Listen. Mm -hmm. Those are scammers. Do not ever add them as your friends. Because then they're going to start asking for credit cards. Or they'll tell you you won something and you just got to put in your credit card information. If you win something, you don't need the credit card information. Like the, the prizes that I have always given out, the people who's gotten the bowls, um, they've never given me their credit card information to win that. So, keep that in mind. Okay. We're going to let this finish cooking and then... Um, we're going to probably come back and do a dessert. So, I'll see you all a little bit later. So have a great night. Let's see. Caroline, can you come hit the finish button? We need it. Don't let me forget to take a picture of this, too. I guess we need to wait on the kitchen.